My name is Aaron, this is my bird Mango, and a few videos ago I mentioned how I'm thankful that I taught Mango to poop at his cage. Since then I've gotten a couple DMs asking Aaron, how did you teach Mango to poop at his cage? So today I'm going to be teaching you how I taught my bird to poop at his cage. And this is entirely done through positive reinforcement. This is just basic psychology. This works on both humans and animals. Um, but animals are a little dumber, so I need to explain to you what to do and what not to do. That's really important. I made some mistakes because I didn't know what not to do. So stick to the end of the video and um, you can avoid the mistakes that I made. So to teach your bird to poop at his cage uh, requires positive reinforcement. And let me break that down for you. Whenever your bird does something correct, you need to reward that behavior through praise, uh, snacks, or attention. Keyword is attention. I'm going to visit that topic later. After positively reinforcing a certain behavior, eventually your bird will understand after repetition that a certain behavior equals attention or food or whatever. For example, when Mango flies to his cage and poops, I give him praise and attention and he likes that. So he's going to keep doing that. Personally, I use a certain set of uh, words, syllables, and vocal intonations Mingo has no idea what I'm saying, but he understands that those sounds is a good thing. Whenever I say, good job, you're so good, good job, you're so good, in this pitch, to him is a good thing. Because usually when I'm giving him attention, love, pets, or when, he, you know, when, I, when he's doing something that feels good, like when he's eating a snack, I'll, I'll tell him, good job, you're doing so good, you're so good. And he's correlated those words with positive uh, emotions and feelings and experiences. Oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> you're so good, you're so good. Right now I'm positively reinforcing his quiet, good, chill behavior. He's tired right now. You're so good. Wow, you're so good. I want to stress the importance of sounds and intonations and things like that because I've seen pet owners have full-on conversations, full sentences with their pets. So if you're talking to your bird in full sentences that are different every time, um, you can't expect to positively or negatively reinforce anything because your pet has no idea what you're saying. So if you haven't set up a certain phrase or tone of voice with your pet, that means uh, positive or uh, negative feelings, then what are you doing? You gotta establish that. You can't be saying full sentences to your pets. They don't know what it means. All right, so now that I've explained um, positive reinforcement for way too long, let's talk about actually teaching a bird to poop at his cage. It's very simple. Um, as a bird owner who's kind of in tune with my bird, I can kind of estimate when he's gonna poop. Like, if he hasn't pooped in a while, and I know how frequently he goes, then I'll go put him on top of his cage. I taught my bird to poop on top of his cage. You can put it, you can teach your bird to, you can teach your bird to poop on your bed. It, it doesn't matter. So whenever I felt that Mango needed to poop, I put him on top of his cage and sat there quietly next to him and waited for him to poop. Right as soon as he pooped, I immediately give him praise and attention. After doing this a hundred times, eventually, your bird's going to realize, Good job! He just pooped on his cage! Good job! You're so good! Dude, he's so fucking good. He's- Mingo's such a good bird. Hey, you're good. I'm just driving that positive reinforcement into his head. Anyway, you positively reinforce these certain behaviors a hundred times, and eventually your bird will understand this behavior equals praise and attention and treats. That's it. It's basic psychology. Now let's talk about what not to do, what I did wrong. Remember earlier I said attention is positive reinforcement. Negative attention can also be positive reinforcement. And let me explain. Something that Mango does that makes me mad is uh, when he poops on my chair. When he poops on my chair, he knows I'll say no and walk up to him, grab him, and put him in his cage. He knows that by now. Basically he knows that uh, when I'm not giving him attention, if he poops on my chair, he knows that I'm going to give him attention. Even though it's not good attention, he knows that he's going to get attention. So basically, let's say your bird is biting your hand. Instead of scolding your bird for biting you, which is giving him attention, which is what he wants, 
Instead of doing that, put him down on the ground and walk away. Your bird's gonna be like, oh no. Eventually your bird's gonna think, oh, biting my owner means that I'm gonna be put on the ground and be left alone, and I don't want that. Eventually, your bird's not going to bite you anymore. So to bring it back to our point of um, getting your bird to stop pooping where you don't want him to, don't give him any sort of attention when he poops on the wrong places. Only give him positive attention, as much positive attention or snacks or whatever, as much as you can when he poops at the right place. This will ensure that um, your chair is not covered in poop like mine. So that's all I've got to say. If, you, um, if this has been helpful and you know someone else who has a bird or a pet who poops in unwanted places, uh, send them this video. Maybe it'll help them. If you like this video, um, please check out the other videos on my channel. I'm a guy with a bird and a new real estate license and I'm trying to make a million dollars in real estate. And I make vlogs about it, so check those out. If you like them, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. And thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching to this point. That's amazing you did that. Um, that's it. Have a good rest of your day.